Hello everyone, to this electro no, second video on electrochemistry, right? Where we're going to talk about galvanic cells, electrochemical cells, how we set up electrochemical reactions, right? Typically in uh, lab and other situations. Okay. So when we try to set up these electrochemical reactions, right? We, how they're set up is based off of the idea of electricity, right? Of this flow of moving charges through some sort of wire or through solution. And the idea that we want to harness that flow, okay? Because um, if we move these electrons across the potential, which is measured in volts, okay? Often called voltage or electromotive force, okay? Um, right? Uh, if charges get pushed across that potential, right? And generate some type of a current, okay? Those charges moving across that potential provide some amount of work, some amount of electrical work, right? And that is how you are able to get out kind of electricity and power devices and things like that, um, right, using something like a battery, okay? Um, <clears throat> and that flow of charges is measured in amperes, okay? Current is that flow of charges, right? So let's imagine if I have my redox reaction and I allow that electron to transfer through a wire, right? Then I'd get electricity and I could harness the energy of that redox reaction, okay? That's your battery, right? And that is the type of cell shown here, right? Um, that cell, is, the cell is, um, right, uh, <clears throat> set up to allow electrons to flow from one side to the other across a wire and not directly through solution so that you can harness the energy of that electrochemical reaction. So what are the different aspects of this cell? Okay, so every electrochemical cell has certain things in common, okay? It's going to have what's called an anode, okay? An anode and a cathode, okay? Anode is where your oxidation reaction occurs. Cathode is where your reduction reaction occurs, okay? Right. Uh, for me, I remember this by thinking of anode starts with vowel, oxidation starts with the vowel, cathode starts with the consonant, reduction starts with the consonant. Um, <clears throat> and so, right, so you got your anode, your cathode, okay? Um, you have in your anodes what are called electrodes, okay? So this, this zinc metal here, this copper metal here, right? These are called electrodes. Now they could be involved in the electrochemical reaction as shown here, but they could not be. They could just be some inert metal that, that's just there to transfer electrons from one side to the other, right? In this case, it's involved, right? The zinc metal is forming Zn2 plus in the oxidation, the anode side, and the copper ions are being reduced to copper metal in the um, cathode side of this system, right? I then have what's called a salt bridge that connects these two solutions that allows ions, just neutral, not neutral, but like uh, spectator ions to flow between them, right? So in this case, right, the anions move towards the anode and the cations move towards the cathode, right? And it's because in the cathode, you're also moving electrons to it, right? You see the electrons flow from the anode to the cathode, right? The flow of the electrons go from the anode to the cathode, right? So you're adding negative charge to the electrons at the cathode, so you gotta balance that out by adding positively charged ions like sodium. Similarly, you're removing a negative charge from the anode, so you gotta balance that out by adding negatively charged ions like nitrate into the anode, okay? And then the voltage here is the um, electromotive force, the cell potential for this electrochemical reaction that we'll talk more about in future slides. Okay. So again, the key Things here are your anodes and cathodes and your salt bridges, okay? Anodes, right, have an oxidation reaction. Cathodes have a reduction reaction, okay? And the salt bridge allows anions to flow to the anode and cations to flow to the cathode to maintain charge neutrality in your solutions, okay? Another way you can try to think of memorizing these is anox and red cath, right? Anode, oxidation, reduction, um, cathode, okay? Um, again, there's a lot of ways you can try to remember this, right? But, but again, you just need to remember that at the anode, you have the oxidation reaction, and the cathode, you have the reduction reaction. 